Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Hello, and welcome to my guide for AP Lucian. If you don't know me, and based on the number of subscribers I have, nobody knows me, I love to theory craft weird builds and play out of the meta champs. Things like AP Shaco, AP Nocturne, Hybrid Burn Brand, and even AP Trundle. And my friends love the shit out of me for it. Where is this Trundle? Oh, Jesus Meanwhile, Christ. he's actually he's actually AP. You're kidding me, right? No, he's actually AP. <laughs> I fucking hate you, Chad. Real quick, before we jump into builds, playstyles, counters, and whatnot, we need to discuss the most recent changes made to Lucian in both patch 5.22 and 5.23. This update brought much needed diversity and flavor to a number of AD carries, and in my opinion, many people overlooked Lucian's specific changes. In patch 5.22, this update made Lucian's ult no longer scale with attack speed, and instead just had a flat amount of shots per level based on, you know, what level your ultimate is. Now, patch 5.23 on the other hand was just a minor nerf to his base attack damage, as well as a little bit of a nerf to his culling. Now we can look at all Lucian's abilities and see how they tie into making a AP Assassin Mage a little more viable for him. And I say viable pretty loosely. <laughs> Through the turret. Oh my god. <laughs> Now as you can see, Lucian's W has a 90% AP ratio. This is your bread and butter skill, you use this as much as you can whenever it's off cooldown. AP Lucian's second biggest ability is obviously his ultimate, comes with a 10% AP ratio. Not a huge ratio, but it does have those flat shots as I said before, so no need to worry about building attack speed. Also take note that Lucian's Q does physical damage, Lucian's W does magic damage, and then Lucian's ultimate does physical damage. Also worth mentioning is that Lucian's Q does in fact proc Lutens and Rylai's and Leandrews and things of that matter. Alright, now moving forward we can just jump right into runes. Hybrid pin red marks, flat or per level health yellow seals, your choice. Scaling CDR per level blue glyphs, and finally two ability power quints and one CD per level quint. This gives you 20% CDR at level 18, and paired with Morellos and Athenes gives you 40%. Along with the hybrid pin, which is really nice all around for his kit, this is my go to page. This chick doesn't, she doesn't even see it coming. I guarantee. Yo, don't scare her, don't scare her, back off, back off, back off, you're scaring her. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello. Oh, he's AD, Chad. What are you even afraid of? <laughs> that guy, on the other hand, is not AD. Moving forward, let's jump into the Masters. I go down the Cunning Tree because Thunderlords is amazing for Lucian, and with his passive, it just fits like a glove. Not to mention the Hybrid Pin is all around awesome for his Hybrid Damage Kit, and then the rest of the talents I really just grab as much bonus damage as I can. When it comes to the potions or the minion damage, it's really up to you, but yeah. Combine these Runes of Masteries with the Devastating Burst build, and you're looking at some major slappage. Slap, 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 clap, 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 slap, 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 clap, clap, clap. clap. The core of the build is Ludens, Sork Shoes, Death Cap, and either Morellos or Athenes. That'll give you your 40%, and you can swap up and get Morellos or Athenes early on if you want to. I personally just really like the burst damage coming from Ludens early on. The CDR is great on Lucian, and it is, in my opinion, a priority, but you can push it back a bit. Please note that this build is highly based on what you need at the time. AP Lucian is terrible against the team with a lot of front lines, so avoid playing him versus a heavy tank team. But you can counter with a more sustained damage build or HP burn build. Notice that Void Staff is not in this list because in my opinion, Landry's gives you more all around for your kit. Void Staff is an option, but I prefer Landry's. Now a minor thing I want to touch on is the basic play style or strategy I apply whenever I do play Evolution. You want to focus as much as you can on poking and assassinating squishies, but there's no need to go balls deep. The best thing about AP Lucian is the long distance skill shots that travel very fast, making it really hard to dodge. 
There's no need to go face to face with the enemy, let alone a tank. I don't feel that there's a real hard counter to AP Lucian, except for tanks. There are some champions that can be a bit of a hassle, mainly Yasuo, Orianna, Syndra. Folks somewhere you step as a well-placed ball or wind wall can completely destroy you. That about does it for the guide, I hope you enjoyed. Um, keep in mind this is my first guide ever and one of my first videos ever, so <laughs> constructive criticism is definitely welcome. Other than that, you guys have a good night. Peace. <laughs>